is Viviana and today you might be hearing an echo because we're in a new place as you can tell from the background. So we've done a two strand twist out, a three strand braid out. Yeah, the one where you just plait in here and pull it back out, a regular braid out. We've even seen three strand twist outs. Well, I never done it before. I want to go, but I'm going to be skipping over three strand twist out and I'm going to a four strand braid out. Yeah, four strands. Just because a few of you guys actually said it in the comments on my last video. Yeah, the eight basic braids. So because you guys were curious about it, I became curious about it and here we are now. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> washed damp hair well my hair is a little more than damp around the back and the only thing I have in it right now is my leave-in conditioner and yeah that's what you're seeing right here <laughs> and let's separate this section yeah I don't think I need to do anything bigger or smaller than this you know, I don't really know because I've never done this before. So, we already did go through the process of learning the four strand braid out, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't, I really don't remember. So, let's go and refresh ourselves on how to do a four strand braid. Into four equal strands. The pattern is over, under, over. That looks simple enough. Over, under, over, over, under, over. Alright, so four equal sections. One, two, three, and four. So other than just getting the braid done, I need to remember to get it as close to the root as possible as tight as possible and also not to borrow hair from each strand you know so that the curl pattern comes out neat <sighs> all right over under and over over under You know what I just thought of? How am I going to do this to the back of my head? And I'm using my tangle teaser to ensure it's detangled thoroughly. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four, and it's over, under, over. Right, let's start with this strand closest to my face. I don't know why, I just think it might turn out neater. <laughs> All right, so over, under, over. And nice and tight and close to the root. Over, under,
you know what I'm saying? The third time's the charm. I believe it. <laughs> look at it. It looks so much neater than the first ones I did. Or is it my head? Nope. It looks neater. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I hope it give me a nice girl pattern. <laughs> that doing the first oval with the left strand first just 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 makes my fingers work better all right <laughs> maybe it's just a right-handed thing or maybe it's just a me thing but it works it has got me easier but my fingers still cramp up close to the end <laughs> with the four strands but I'm at the end now and I'm just going to three strand braid right and tight. so as usual I've left a section right at the crown of my head because when we finish pulling out the braids and fluffing everything we're gonna use this top section to cover up this middle part separating the four strands but I want to ensure that they're as equal as possible the entire braid just turns out neater and it finishes neater that way so yeah I don't even start the braid yet on my hands time <laughs> all right so we're gonna follow the same principle starting with the strand in the left hand oh my god my hand tie Question to be featured in my next intro. Like I don't I don't know why this is like that. What? You see how it twists? So Ooh. So my hair is now completely dried. I hope. I mean sometimes my hair surprised me and still have moisture stuck up in between the braids. But we're hoping for the best, okay? <laughs> but it has been two days since I've had these braids sitting in my hair. And uh, for those who want to know, when I have my hair plait up like this, when I'm actually going out in public, I usually just wrap my hair up in a scarf. That's it. Nothing fancy. All right, let's start with this front braid right here. My little pride and joy. If this one don't turn out good, then there's no hope for the rest of the hair, okay? <laughs> Maybe I'm just hungry, but it's kind of reminding me of crinkle fries. So I usually just 
just like to run my hands through my hair first to just kind of loosen it up before I start fluffing it. And I'm gonna put some shea butter on my hands to get my hair nice and shiny. So I'm only coming at the roots to get the hair fluffed and blended. Okay beauties, what do you think? Do you think the four strand braid out is worth the extra effort? Let's see right beside a regular three strand braid out. So whether or not this replaces my three strand braid out, I'm not so sure. Lord, my hair getting longer too. Look there. Oh, who cares so long? Eh, look there. Eh, almost a tricky. <laughs> well, I have noticed that I can get away with using chunkier sections with a four strand braid out. So it does take a shorter amount of time to put in the braids. Kind of. But then again, the four strand braid is a little more technical, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, beauties, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and give me a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget, the best way to show your love for this channel is to share the video and watch the ads. If you're new to my channel and you haven't decided from this one video that you want to subscribe, I'm gonna guess it's because you don't think hair content is your thing however you just sat through this entire video plus I have more videos up in my archives that you can watch more get more familiar with my channel and come on if you sit down through two or three more of my videos just accept that you belong here and subscribe okay beauties thanks again for watching later Mwah.